a very damp and soggy bird and this seems to be the pattern at the moment with our white faced owls on a cold, on a dry day when there's no rain and therefore no roof um, the white faced owls are not in their tree um, when it is raining and when there is a roof that gets in the way of the camera um, then our white faced owls return to their favorite bush willow and one of my absolute hands down favorite birds it is a white faced scops owl and they are roughly, to give you a sense of scale, they are probably just a little bit bigger than my hand. About one and a half times the size of my hand. So one of our smaller owl species. Aren't they adorable? There's number two if you see very sort of hidden behind the leaves and there's number one. I don't know why I assigned them those numbers, that doesn't make any sense. Now the wonderful thing about the scops owls, which they're doing at the moment, but you can't really see it from the second one, this is their standard shape. This is their I'm slightly fluffed up and slightly miserable in this weather. But that, that's the standard small owl face. It is somewhere between, um, you know what I always think they look like? Slightly woebegone academics that have been in um, universities their entire lives and have had to deal with the utter nonsense of students their entire lives. And that is exactly, that is, that is the face my professor gave us when we didn't do the assigned work that we had to do or the assigned reading or we just didn't understand it. There, even that patient eye close, as though desperately praying for some patience from somewhere. That is exactly what my professor looked like when I was doing law.